Madison is hogging my camera. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. We have a fun adventure today. Today is a little bit different, um, different kind of video. Today is the 10th of October. It's a beautiful day out. I have a whole new journey that I'm going to be on that I'm telling you guys about. Um, I've been working on this project for about I don't know about two months or so and I, I just want to I just want to talk about it because I'm so excited but, but first um, I just want to let you know if you notice I'm wearing some new glasses um, these glasses were provided to me from a company so I'm just gonna do a little just a little quick little um, little little talking about these glasses um, because I can actually see the road what I would drive with before I would put my regular glasses on and then I'd put my Oakley's over that so this is actually really nice just to have one pair of glasses on when I'm driving yeah you have been wearing those everywhere yeah yeah these yeah. are these are really nice cuz like everything's in HD so they're prescription sunglasses that I'm gonna be keeping in my car um, but anyways I just want to do a little short clip because they did provide me these these glasses I want to be a hundred percent honest here they they offered to pay me to do a video I actually declined that and said I don't want to be paid to do a video but would love some glasses <laughs> so I just want to again just be honest with you guys um, they are offering a free polarized lens upgrades which is a hundred and twenty dollar regular val value on any of their frames now they have over 600 glasses styles it's crazy when you're going through it. In fact, I was a little bit overwhelmed to try to pick out my glasses, um, but they have this really cool 3D thing that you could use and and, uh, and you could see the glasses on you on their website. It's actually kind of fun. Um, they also gave me a code. It's called Spirit Forest 15, and you get $15 off your glasses. Um, the name of the company is uh, Jins, it's J-I-N-S. And you can see the details in the description below, and I highly recommend them. Um, I actually have two of their glasses, and I love them. I really do, and it's so nice to be driving and seeing the road. <laughs> so um, I'm extremely excited. So um, you could, it, and if you don't know what a polarized glasses do, it makes a huge difference if you don't have polarized glasses. If you're out on water or reflective surfaces, um, like when I'm kayaking and stuff like that, um, it really makes it so you can actually see and you don't get the glare on the water. And you can, and also fishing and stuff like that too. So if you haven't experienced a polarized sunglasses, um, again, I, I recommend this company. For those of you that don't know, I am an artist. Yes, I paint for fun. Um, I enjoy it. To me, it's a lot of therapy and it makes me feel really good. And Madison is the same way. Yeah. Um, she loves to paint as, as well, so I brought her along this journey. So let me tell you the story of this. I was driving by this town and I saw this cute little gift shop art gallery and I walked in there and I was looking for a gift for my friend in Norway. 
and actually a subscriber of mine and I wanted something that was made in Colorado. Um, the owner owns two galleries here in Bailey, Colorado and only has Colorado artists in the galleries. So I asked him and I was like, hmm, are you looking for a painter? <laughs> You know, it's just been a while since I've painted. I think it was actually before uh, Madison was born. Like I was in galleries and stuff. So it's been like 16 years. And he's like, you know what? Why don't you send me what it is that you paint and we'll, we'll talk about it. And I'm like, okay. And so I think it was that night I actually sent him my paintings and he's like, wow. He's like, I, I want you in my gallery. And it, you guys, like this makes me feel so good, you know? <laughs> Um, and he has a lot of art that goes into people's cabins and stuff so a lot of like nature type photos and that's kind of what he's um, that's what he's looking for for his gallery now his gallery is beautiful like oh, yeah. it has it has everything in it. yeah like, like what are some of the things that you saw that you really liked some of the art that he has that I really like myself is the soap because there's there's also a shampoo so far, yeah, yeah. which is so, it smells so good. Um, yeah, we might have to get some of that. Yeah, yeah the problem is, that. every time I come here, I just want to buy something else. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have my eye on another knife, just yeah. so you know. And a like, clock, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so the, but the knife, I was like, like I need more knives, you know? So I was like, and this I, one's different too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I told him, I said, I got my eye on this. I'm gonna be saving up for this knife. <laughs> so we'll see. I, you know, I just gotta add another one to my yeah. collection. <laughs> but it's so cool because it was so it's iridescent and stuff like that. But the cool thing is, is that his gallery is so beautiful. There's so many cool things, so many different little, little gifts and stuff that you would give someone for like their Christmas or birthday. Everything is like handmade. Um, I just love it, and it's all local artists. So um, that's what's really exciting too, as I will be local to this area. Yes. Yes. And a lot of people stop by here too. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> um, the gallery's right next to the largest hot dog <laughs> you have ever seen. Like, if you are driving down, this is Colorado, if you're driving down 285, you can't miss this hot dog. So if you see the hot dog, pull in here, there's a cute little gift shop, um, and go in there and, and check, it, check it all out. Um, I am so excited to bring my art here. I have been painting like crazy for the last few weeks. Weeks, um, trying to get enough paintings to come in here. Some of my paintings are glow-in-the-dark. I have a glow-in-the-dark moose that's walking through a meadow. I have, and then the moose itself is the one thing that glows in the dark. And that's so cool. Yeah. And then I have a deer that glows in the dark too. It's more of like a spirit deer. Now, if you remember, because I talk about my art every once in a while on my channel, um, I do kind of do a, like a kind of a cartoony type feel to some of my art. Yes. Um, I like it. I do. <laughs> I like it. I think it's all good. Um, but I'm just so excited to bring my art here and you know I was a little nervous and I'm so happy that he likes the art and in fact one of the customers came by as we were hanging up um, some paintings and he's just like I really like this one and one of the paintings um, reminded him of um, a TV show that he watched one time yeah. and so he, he took my business card mm -hmm. it was just really cool so I'm oh, really yeah. happy about it you know so I want to tell you like a, a story just because that's kind of what my channel's about it's, it's a vlog and I kind of um, share my stories and my adventures and you know this is just another adventure for me is being in this gallery but when I was in my 20s I decided that I was gonna quit my job and that I was gonna be an artist full-time and I, um, I painted like crazy. I really did. I painted like crazy. I got professional photos of my artwork. Um, I did a lot of horse and columbine type paintings. And then, um, you know, it's hard to get into a gallery and, and sometimes galleries take a, a huge percentage and you find out that, you know, you just can't make the kind of money that you probably need to make to live off of. Um, but then I stopped painting and, it, and I want to tell you about this 
story that I had. I decided that I wasn't going to be in a gallery anymore and it was, I met this guy and um, it, I think it was just at a bar somewhere and he's, he told me he was an artist and I was like, oh, I am too. And so he says, why don't you bring over your art to my place and we'll talk about it. And it wasn't like, it wasn't any romantic thing or anything like that. Like he was really like, hey, I'll help you get in galleries. And so he, I brought over the art is that a chipmunk? Um, tiny little squirrel. That's a little squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> um, I brought over the artwork, and um, he immediately just put me down. Like, was like, you don't know what you're doing. You don't have any direction. You don't know this. You don't know that. And I literally walked out of his place completely deflated. And I think it took me about two years or so to get back into painting. And I think that if you're an artist, I mean, everything's subjective, you know, and you just gotta just paint whatever it is that you wanna paint. Like a lot of the, the really big artists end up painting things that look very similar. Um, sometimes my art doesn't look very similar, you know, and, um, and so I change it up a little bit. And I like that. And the thing about this gallery is I can be as creative as I want. You know, and, and and I'll be able to put it on the wall. Now, Andy was great. Andy is the owner of the gallery. Again, he owns two galleries, and I got all my paintings there. Every painting that I have is at this gallery. So I am really excited um, to see what the first painting, which which painting will be the first painting that sells. You know. Um, I'm, I'm just really excited. If you're interested in buying any of the paintings that you have seen um, on this video, feel free to um, you know, give the gallery a call. I'll put all their information below and, and he can arrange um, the, the payment and I'll come here to ship it or something like that. We'll figure something out if you really want one of my paintings. Um, I also am going to end up opening eventually, um, probably sometime in November and I'll announce the date for that. I will end up opening an Etsy account for some of my paintings as well because I just love to paint and I just want to get right back into it. Um, I love nature and painting nature and everything like like that so it's gonna be a great adventure for me and not only me but also Madison so um, she is also an artist and I have asked her to do a series of paintings um, that possibly we can put into our gallery or our itsy page it's gonna be super cool I already showed like um, I already showed someone else the painting that like that's going around my theme and she was just amazed about it and i'm just super excited to like add some new colors to it and it just gives me like a little warm feeling when like i know that my artwork might be hanged in somebody else's house one day yeah and it, it just gives me a warm heart so so tell them the theme that you're gonna do um i'm going to do a theme about skiing like a skiing um messy artwork kind of <laughs> like it's like abstract yeah abstract but like you can tell it's a skier and um i'm doing like s little splatter paint to show that um it's like snow going up and there's a lot of action and movement we'll show you a picture of one of her ski paintings here mm -hmm. so you don't see a lot of women's skiers in paintings i want to incorpor incorporate that into my painting and also I want to do some snowboarders too because we know I know there's a lot of snowboarders in Colorado and I think it'll be good to do that theme around this area because this area gets a lot of ski and snowboarding traffic during the winter time and I just want to incorporate that and to put like a little twist of my own in it and hopefully advice <laughs> yes wait until you guys see yes. her work too I mean it's really good I'm, I'm a very proud mom and and I know this is a, this video is a little bit different than my other videos but sh she really does a good job and, and maybe we can put our art in other galleries maybe this is just a, a, a first step you know um, I really enjoy um, showing off the, the art and you know selling it is always a bonus too but yes <laughs> Madison, Madison yes. can pay for some and more gas for your car <laughs> yes more gas money and yeah. maybe more painting supplies too <laughs> yeah yeah more painting supplies too yeah okay so her and I are gonna be painting like crazy and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that this part of the process too and um, and maybe we'll show on some future videos at the end of the video we'll show you some new paintings that we have 
I want to thank you for joining us today. Um, it's been a wonderful day. It really has. Like I feel so good today um, having my paintings hung and knowing that Madison's going to be starting her own series of paintings too. So um, thanks for joining and we'll see you on our next video. Bye-bye.